Hi, I'm Bo Forbes. I'm a clinical psychologist, yoga teacher, and yoga therapist. And I have a passion for the intersection between yoga, psychology, and science. I'm here today to talk to you about neuroplasticity, which I call the science of change. And it used to be that we believed our brains after the age of 14 or so did not change, that it was all kind of downhill from then on, that there was very little opportunity for growth and development. But in recent years, neuroscientists have been giving us in the yoga world some incredible information about how transformation really happens. And one of the, the coolest and most helpful points that they offer us is the science of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity gives us a bird's eye view into how our patterns form, but it also tells us that change is possible and that we actually can change our brains and our habits well into old age, maybe even up to the moment of death. To look at how change happens, we sometimes have to let go of some of the cultural myths about change. And the media and culture tell us that change can be instant and dramatic, that we can have a kind of yogic makeover. And also that the more dramatic the methods we use, the more uh, demanding and challenging the practice, the more transformation we'll have emotionally and spiritually. In fact, Instant healing and also dramatic methods are jarring to the nervous system. And the nervous system is like the calibrator of neuroplasticity, of change. So what works instead are subtle interventions that we practice progressively over time that build on one another. Those are the kind of interventions that even though they're subtler and uh, require more awareness, build more lasting and more integrative change. So when you think about neuroplasticity and our tremendous capacity for change, think of the tortoise and the hare, that slow and steady wins the race to emotional well-being and also to enlightenment. I hope I've given you some hope for change and thank you for listening.